And good evening, folks. I'm Ted Hall. Glad you're with us for WVLT News at 6 o'clock. An East Tennessee man's recovering from injuries. He says he was attacked by multiple dogs. This happened in Hamlin County at Panther Creek State Park. We're going to warn you, some of you may find the images we're about to show difficult to watch. Now, these are the injuries 77 year old Tommy Potter received. He says a bull mastiff bit him, bit his leg, needed stitches. His arm was broken, he was knocked to the ground, his face bloodied. Our Sam Luther caught up with him in the very place he says all this happened just days ago. Terrible experience. Never forget it. On his 77th birthday, how could he forget? Tommy Potter was walking along the water next to the boat ramp at Panther Creek State Park. As he walked back to his car, he says a large bull mastiff and three other dogs jumped on him and started to attack. I remember kicking at them, trying to get them off of me, whatever. And a big red dog was trying to get up in my face, and I was trying to protect my throat because I know if he got my throat, I was goner. A bystander helped get the dogs off, but not before deep cuts to his leg that required stitches, a broken elbow, and a bloodied face. Potter says the dog's owners didn't stick around. He hollered, he said, don't worry, mister, said they all been vaccinated. And he turned around and got in, run, got in his van and hit the road again. Dogs that Potter says were not on a leash, despite clear park rules that require it. Not knowing details about the dogs and their history, this week has only gotten harder. It's kind of scary to think about it or relive what happened, really happened. Adding to an already chaotic and painful week, the injuries, they'll heal over time. But it's the dog encounters that for Potter will take some time. Yeah, you're not going to walk up and say, hey, boy. <laughs> you know, pet him stuff, so it changed your whole attitude toward him. Now, Potter hasn't been to that park in more than a decade. The only reason he was there in the first place was because he used to have a house there by the water and just wanted to walk over and see what the area looked like today. On his birthday, nonetheless, Ted, certainly not expecting to have that encounter. And Sam, those paying attention to the story who know dogs know we're talking about some big dogs here. Yeah, full grown bull mastiff can get as big as 100 to 130 pounds. So you can imagine how scary that moment was. The park rangers have a report. They're looking into that incident, Ted. All right, Sam Luther, thank you.